Dr. Tim Walker at Somers Animal Hospital. Today we're going to review taking a blood sample from your diabetic pet. At this point, your veterinarian will have diagnosed your pet with diabetes mellitus, the condition where there's excess blood sugar and you're needing to give insulin to control that. Being able to take a blood sample at home and get the blood sugar value will give your veterinarian the ability to better regulate your pet. So first we will review what you'll need. The basic things are going to be a Tupperware or some sort of container with warm water and a compress. That will help vasodilate the skin and make it easier to get the sample. A little bit of Vaseline to put on the sample site. Your blood glucose monitor. Your blood glucose strips that go in the monitor. Your lamp set and a little bit of gauze to put on after you've taken your blood sample. The way the monitor works is incredibly simple. It's got a little butterfly on it that you want to be able to see. You set it into the monitor, you push it in, and your monitor already comes on. Shows the proper code that your veterinarian will have set for you. And you'll see the flashing strip and dot of blood letting you know you're ready to sample. When you actually have your blood to be sampled, you'll have a little dot of blood on your pet, and it's the edge of the strip that will actually suck the blood in. So if you have a dot of blood, you're just going to touch it gently, and it'll wick the blood right into the instrument and give you a reading. Okay? So now we just need our first patient. Okay, so this is Maggie, our patient with diabetes and we're going to take a blood sample and measure the blood sugar in it. We have a little con so it's fun for the patient. My assistant here is already holding our little warm compress on there for 30 seconds or so. We'll take our Vaseline, we'll take the compress off and she has a nice spot here on the elbow. Your veterinarian will discuss where to take a blood sample. I take a little Vaseline and the area I'm going to go to I just smear it right on there. Just a thin layer across helps the blood bead up. So I get my monitor ready. You see the little butterfly? I see that, so I know which way to put it in. My monitor turns on and is ready and waiting. Take my lamp set, open it, the tiniest of needles, and I come on in. Can you see okay? And I tend to usually pinch for maybe 20 or 30 seconds, again, just to engorge the area. I then give a little poke. And I make sure it's in there for a second, a little twist. And then again, I just hold it for a moment. And if you can see in there, you'll see the blood forming. Nice little area. I take my instrument and go to the side. And just let it wick right in. I took its sample, a little gauze to hold on, and you'll see it's reading, and gave us a 104. Perfect blood sample. Your veterinarian may have you do this twice a day at mealtime, and occasionally will have you do a curve over 12 hours, where you take a level in the morning when you feed, you give insulin, the blood sugar will come down through the day, and come back up when you're ready to feed 12 hours later. Taking a sample every two hours will allow your veterinarian to see how well your pet is regulated. Simple as that, as you get good, it's not much harder than feeding breakfast to get your sample. Thank you, and please feel free to comment or visit us on the web at SomersAnimalHospital.com. Thanks.